We are back once again with another Super Mario Boss Ranking. Yes, where we take every single Mario game, spin-off, mainline, 2D, 3D, any type of Mario game, and rank every boss based on a certain criteria. So, we've made videos so far on the worst boss from every Mario game, the best, the hardest, and the easiest. And today, you guys wanted to see the scariest boss from every single Mario game. Now, let's be honest, Mario bosses are not that scary, really, at all, because they're made for more of a general audience, more of a family game, and they're never really that scary. That does not mean the Mario series doesn't have scary bosses, though. So, yes, we're going to try our best to pick the scariest boss from every single Mario game. 2D, 3D, spin-off, whatever we can find throughout the Mario series, giving us over 55 different Mario games to talk about today. So if you're excited and you really want to help support me because this video is very long to make every time we go through this, but make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Super Mario and Nintendo in general. It goes a long way as a lot of you guys are not yet subscribed. Stop what you're doing. It'll only take a second. Did you do it? All right. I trust you. Let's jump in to the video. So first we start off with the classic games, of course, and a lot of these really don't have many boss variety yet. We're not really diving into some of the more deeper bosses. So for Mario Brothers, yeah, there's not much besides Bowser. So I guess really any Bowser would be scary. So it's hard to pick one. Uh, Mario Brothers, the Lost Levels, same with that one as well. I'd also say pretty much any Bowser. There's not really a particular Bowser that's scarier than the other. But then we move to Mario Brothers 2. And for me, the scariest boss was definitely the Mask Gate. This one threw me for a loop. I was ready to end the level and this thing starts chasing me and trying to eat me. So yeah, that was definitely something I was not predicting. And I didn't even want to jump into its mouth after I defeated it because I didn't trust it after that. But we move on to Mario Brothers 3 once again, where we don't really have any super scary bosses or anything that really emits fear. All the Koopalings are pretty normal, so I'd say it'd probably be Bowser because he's trying to chase after you and stomp on you, so it does kind of give you a fear effect. For Super Mario Land, another hard one to really find a scary enemy as there's only like three or four bosses in this game, so I would probably go King Totomesu. I'm trying to look at the world in Mario's eyes and what he would think looks the scariest. It's definitely not the seahorse. I don't think Tatang is that scary, and it's definitely not the Easter Island head so I would have to go King Totomesu because it's a giant lion probably does admit a little bit of fear if they were to revamp this game and kind of make it into modern standards. For Mario Land 2, it'd probably be the witch. The room in Boss Arena itself is just a little creepy, and it's just this witch flying around throwing things at Mario with cauldrons all around the room. So, yeah, it's a little scary. And for Super Mario World, definitely Big Boo. Big Boo was a little freaky, as this giant boo's at the top of the screen trying to come down and attack you, as the other boos are in the room trying to attack you as well. It can be a little bit unsettling sometimes when you're trying to toss those blocks up in the air. Moving on to some Mario spinoffs and in some of the 3D games we have Mario Pinball Land and I chose Egyptian Koopa. Something about this Koopa Troopa was just freaky to me like he was like this magic wizard and he always just gave me a creepy look every time I played this level in this boss battle and the music was very intense and I don't know it kind of spooked me when I was a kid. For Mario Dance Dance Revolution it has to be Bowser because I was having my heart about to beat out of my chest when I first got to this boss battle and the music was vamped and Bowser's doing all these flips and stuff and it's kind of intense intimidating like it kind of puts fear in you like you got to hit this right like you got to dance fast for Mario 64 I chose Big Boo mostly just because of the atmosphere if anything just the atmosphere of the creepy music of the mansion and also the fact that for the very last hit he'll actually chase you very fast so it might actually you know catch you off guard and spook you out a little bit as I was making this list, I'd never really quite realized Super Mario Sunshine has some scary bosses. You could choose Wiggler for the fact that he chases you in an angry way around the beach. Ely Mouth is creepy enough. We don't really have to go into that. And King Boo can be definitely creepy in a weird way. But I asked you guys for this one because it was so hard for me to figure it out. And you guys ultimately chose Phantom Manta. It is this giant apparition of a manta ray that's coming up on the beach and it's splitting into multiple pieces. And sometimes you don't even see it. And you might bump into it and it'll fling you across the stage and of course when you get to the very end of the boss battle and there's a lot of babies of them they're all swarming you on the beach and all turning purple to attack only you and it's kind of scary it's definitely something to put fear in you especially for a child when i played this game i definitely was overwhelmed and scared from this boss battle 
For Super Mario Galaxy, it's obviously going to go to Boulder, guys. It is a giant rock ghost apparition type of thing, and it is scary. It definitely puts fear in you, and it's one of the scariest Mario bosses, in my opinion. It just has this giant, monstrous, ghostly face to it, and it just, it, it, nah. And it grows hands, definitely a scary thing for a child. But for Mario Galaxy 2, I picked Fire Gobble Gut because it's this giant fiery dragon trying to charge through the planet and eat you. It's really not that scary, but there's not really any other bosses in Mario Galaxy 2 that give a fear factor. Now let's move on to the new Super Mario Brothers games for a second. So for new Super Mario Brothers DS, I chose Dry Bowser because it's one of the first times we ever see him. And it's kind of like, what is this? It kind of is like, why is Bowser just all bones? So yeah, it's a little, it's a little freaky the first time. For new Super Mario Brothers Wii, it's definitely the final Bowser because when he gets gigantic and starts chasing you horizontally across the stage, shooting fireballs and the lava waves are rising even more, it's scary. It's a whole terrifying scene. The music is like sad, but mysterious seriously, you know, intense. I, I don't know, I can't explain it, but that first time you played that boss battle, it was scary, it was intense, and it definitely got you on the edge of your seat. For New Super Mario Bros. U, I chose the final Bowser. Again, it's not anywhere near as scary as the one from the Wii, but it's the only one that kind of emits some fear is Giant Bowser. Nothing else in the game, the Koopalings don't really do much. But New Super Mario Bros. 2, probably Dry Bowser again, where he's a giant Dry Bowser in the background, and you just see his giant glowing eyes. It is a little creepy. Let's move back over to some more 3D games and spinoffs. Going to 3D land, we have the final Bowser. Once again, I don't want to pick Dry Bowser because I feel like the final boss battle with Bowser was a little bit more scary, as he's chasing you around this block obstacle course in the sky, and then at the very end, chasing you down this drawbridge, which is scary. It's not him just waiting for you at the end of it, he's chasing you this time. In Super Mario 3D World, we have Motley Boss Blob. I don't know, something about this weird little circus clown guy was freaky when he transformed into this giant blob and hopping around the stage to jump on you, and then there's like little pieces of him spread out all over the stage where you have to get through in order to reach him. It's kind of like a weird, creepy vibe to it. Bowser's Fury, come on, it's Fury Bowser. Any situation with Fury Bowser was terrifying. Look at this guy. I mean, he was a beast and definitely a terrifying one when you weren't big, when you were just running away from his flames, that was even worse. In Super Mario Odyssey, it's definitely the Lord of Lightning. I think it took us all by surprise when we saw Bowser pull up on that giant dragon and it's like this realistic dragon in a Mario game. It definitely is spooky and with the whole kingdom aspect behind it, it definitely led to spooky vibes and not really as much spooky as I would say just straight up terrifying for Mario. Now hitting some of the spinoffs, we have Mario Kart DS, and I chose Goon Boss because as a kid, I will never forget just being so terrified drifting around the corners of Baby Park trying to get away from this guy. And he would always kind of get right in front of you for a second just to let you know that he's still there. And I don't know, it just, it creeped me out knowing that something was chasing me or racing me. I know it was technically racing me, but it just felt like I was being chased by a giant monster. I hated it. For Mario Tennis Aces, I chose Balsian. Bowser definitely looks very creepy with all his mummified rap all over him and definitely gives off a scary vibe even though we're just playing a game of tennis with him pretty much. And for Mario Golf Super Rush, I chose the electric statue. You really don't have much to choose from in this game and I guess this one's the creepiest, some type of ghost, you know, haunted statue that's fighting against you. So I guess that one would be the creepiest in that entire game. Once again, not much to go off of there. Moving on to the RPG series, we have Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Now, I've said this every time, this is one of the few games that I have not played yet. I get my chance here very soon with the remake coming out this year, but I asked you guys, and a lot of you guys said Smithy's true form. And I can tell because he transforms his head into all these different types of objects and stuff, and he just has these weird, creepy, staring, beady eyes at you. So yeah, it, it definitely looks pretty creepy. For Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, I picked Bowletta slash Cacletta's Soul. Now, Bowletta is already scary enough. The music's scary, the face of this creature is scary, yeah. But Cacletta's soul, you're like in this weird, demented dimension inside of Bowletta's body, and it is just a creepy atmosphere altogether. And yes, this is a scary boss. For Partners in Time, Elder Princess Rube, without a doubt, with her true form as well, turns into this giant octopus monster squid thing, and it is just creepy with the music and the atmosphere being all the way up in the sky. Yeah, it's scary. For Bowser's Inside Story, I was stuck between two. I wanted either Super Peach's Castle of Fury, which was a giant, creepy, demented-looking castle, or we could say the Dark Star Core, which fused Fawful into this weird, bug-like, creepy entity that I definitely don't want to see again. 
For Mario and Luigi Dream Team, it's definitely Antasma, this giant vampire bat creature definitely is scary and he literally is like a nightmare in this game, which just fits the bill perfectly. And for Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, I picked Shiny Robo Bowser. He's just looking like a threat with this giant robotic machine on him. He definitely has a scary approach. Next, let's move on to Paper Mario with Paper Mario 64. We'll definitely go to Tuba Bluba. This whole chapter had some spooky vibes to it, of course, but the ghosts aren't even the enemies, it's Tuba Bluba. Running from him inside of his castle is already scary enough, and then fighting his heart inside of this windmill, and then fighting him, the thing that's been even eating and scaring the ghost, definitely is a scary approach the first time you fight him. For Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, I was stuck between two, and let me tell you why. Obviously, the Shadow Queen is probably the scariest. She is like a demented demon down into the deeps underneath the Thousand Year Door, so yeah, clearly it's gonna be her. She even has hands that come up to grab you, and her attacks are just scary alone. But something about Cortez always frightened me the first time I saw him. This giant floating skeleton head, it's just like, okay, that's kind of creepy. And then you, boom, jump into battle, and he has all these swords, knives, and weapons just floating right beside him, and the music is blasting. It's a great theme. It has that scary vibe to it, for sure. For Super Paper Mario, I chose Mimi for kind of the same reasons as Tubba Blubba, because she chases you in this creepy spider demented way, and when she transforms, it makes all these cracks and pops, and it's just gross, with the creepy, like, kid music that plays too. Yeah, ugh, I, it just gives me chills every time I had to fight her. And Sticker Star is definitely either Mr. Blizzard or Gooper Blooper. Not for really horror reasons, but just for being scary looking. Mr. Blizzard is this giant ice block Bowser that's just terrifying because it's so huge. And I think Gooper Blooper, as it changes its music, it has a very intense one that kind of scares you because that's when you know he's about to use his super attack. Then we have Paper Mario Color Splash. I chose Black Paint Bowser because it's like Bowser's being consumed and taken over by this black paint. And he almost turns into like a zombie as he's moving back and forth and like releases all the paint for one final attack. It's kind of creepy. I almost feel bad for Bowser during that part. And in Paper Mario Origami King, it's definitely the scissors. The scissors has you terrified the entire battle. Not just because it can one-shot you, but just because of the fact it's sharp scissors and your paper. It's probably one of the most terrifying enemies for any type of Paper Mario game because it can cut anything. Yeah, it's just terrifying. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. And once it breaks out of the shears, yeah, you better watch out. Moving on to some more Mario spinoffs, we have Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I would choose Calavera or Mega Dragon Bowser. Now, obviously, Mega Dragon Bowser is creepy, but Calavera just had this spooky thing with me. Like, it was just this creepy-looking rabbit in this coffin with vines sticking out, and it would run all the way around the stage and just grab different members of your team, and I remember it just being so scary and terrifying at the time. And Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope didn't really have any creepy enemies, so I would have to go Cursa, because Cursa was just kind of spooky. It was these floating giant hands, like Master Hand almost, just following your character around, and you had to make sure that you found a way to make her jam her hand into a spike, or it would continue to follow you and smash and grab you. And these hands were always just looming over and watching you the entire phase. So now we jump into the Mario Parties. Yes, Mario Party had some bosses. We have Mario Party DS. Bowser's Block Party was definitely the creepiest, because Bowser was like transformed into this statue block and I don't know it would transform into different things and just gave me creepy vibes. Mario Party 9 I picked Bowser Jr. because this game was all based on the dice. If the dice rolled not in your favor it would allow Bowser Jr. to swing over with his hammers and absolutely obliterate you which was just kind of a lot of pressure and you probably were a little nervous and scared of this guy. In Mario Party 10, we have Bowser's Tank Terror, just some giant Bowsers and even a giant dry Bowser in the background uh, that's kind of shooting at you. Nothing really that scary, but it would be the scariest in this entire game. In Mario Party Island Tour, I chose Dry Bowser's Brain Bonk. Once again, nothing that scary. It just had to pick something that looked the scariest, and it would definitely be Dry Bowser tossing stuff at you and making you have to hurry up and press the buttons. Could be a little scary and nerve-wracking. And then we have Mario Party Star Rush. There's three Mecha Bowser boss battle games at the very end of the game, and they're all very creepy with this giant robot Bowser floating in space trying to attack you. All right, let's throw in some Donkey Kong games. Now, lots of these games don't really have any type of spooky version of DK, so I had to kind of make things up as I went. 
bear with me. Donkey Kong 94, probably just the final DK since it's a bigger version of him and he can like slam you with his fist. Mario vs. Donkey Kong, I chose Twilight City DK. I feel like the stage itself is the scariest since there's so many conveyor belts and bombs moving super fast and you have to like be on your toes so it's very nerve wracking. Um, then for Mario vs. DK 2, I chose Spooky Attic DK, mostly because he wears a drape like a ghost. That's literally the only thing I could come up with. Like, that he looks scary, doesn't he? Like, a little bit? Minis March again. I chose any of the Donkey Kongs, as there's really not a particular one that's scary, and there's not that many boss battles at all in this game. There's like three. And in Miniland Mayhem, I chose the Warped Mansion DK. This one isn't super scary, but it can just kind of catch you off balance because there's some random ghost shy guys that appear at the hit of Donkey Kong Switch, and they can pop up and scare you at the last second, and they'll immediately chase after your mini Mario. Once again, not being like super scary horror-wise, but more along the lines of just being scary because your heart is racing as this thing is chasing you and coming out of the picture frames in the background. And then finally, we have some more spinoffs to end this list. Starting off with Yoshi's Island, we have Hookbill, which always scared me because it was just like a normal happy Koopa Troopa. And then it transforms into this weird monster and it has this weird creepy derpy smile on his face. I just don't like it. And he would like throw up as you hit him in the head and throw up eggs. Ugh, I just didn't like this boss. It was creepy to me. You could also say Giant Baby Bowser for Yoshi's Island because this was terrifying as he was chasing you down from the background. For Yoshi's Island DS, we have Hector the Reflector, which is like a giant creepy looking boo with a squiggly face and he's just kind of creepy how he's disappeared and you got to kind of use the other screen to see where he's at in the mirror and then we have Yoshi's new island I had to choose Big Bowser as Baby Bowser didn't really pose much of a scary threat neither did anything else in this game so Big Bowser it is because technically it would be the scariest out of everything that we got in that game. Now you guys have been demanding ever since the start of the series to have Yoshi's Woolly World and Crafted World added, and I never added them because they never necessarily included Mario in any sort of way. But you guys have been so supportive, I decided to not only put them in this list, but to go back real quick and tell you what I would have picked for the last one. So, real quick, Woolly World's worst boss is not Wing the Koopa. It was just very hard to hit the cannon on his back, and it was just very annoying overall. Craft of World's worst boss was Shogun the Skewers, which was just a big maze you had to get through to get to the end in order to fight him. Not that great. The best boss in Yoshi's Woolly World, Miss Cluck, I love the theme song to death and it was fun to just kind of unravel it in like a little Russian doll. And the best one from Crafted World was Kamek, which was a special final boss that kind of pit you through a little gauntlet of past ones and even a special ending one. I thought it was really cool how they did that and it was really hard too. The hardest boss for Woolly World, I picked Not Wing the Koopa, once again because it's so bad to hit the cannon, it's also very hard to hit the cannon on its back and it was probably one of the most complicated ones for me. And the hardest for Crafted World I picked was Kamek, once again being that final special boss, it was very difficult. The easiest boss for Woolly World I picked was Bert the Bashful, all you had to do was slam an egg into it and he would die very similar to the Yoshi's Island version. And the easiest boss for Crafted World was Mr. Geary, which you can beat in literally under 30 30 seconds by just blasting eggs at the gears and obviously you can just move to the open slot when he's rolling across the floor he's not rolling that fast okay and that catches us back up to this list with the scariest bosses for yoshi's woolly world we have naval piranha which is just scary because it has all these thumbtacks on it and it just kind of you can easily take damage from anything uh, so you have to be on the lookout Nothing really that creepy about it. Nothing else was really that creepy in this game to pass that. But Yoshi's Crafted World, I picked the Great King Bowser because it's just a giant monstrous contraption and it's scary looking, let's be honest. And it's just throwing sharp objects at you like colored pencils. Now down to our final four games. We have Super Princess Peach. I chose Wiggler. Uh, Wiggler just kind of moves back and forth in the stage very quick and you don't know when he's coming since it's a 2D side scroller so it can be kind of scary when he gets mad and also there's smog all in the air and falling rocks. There's a lot of stuff to be afraid of here. And then we move on to Luigi's Mansion games with Luigi's Mansion 1. Now I'm not necessarily choosing a particular boss and I count all the portrait ghosts as bosses so if I had to pick a boss battle it'd be Bogmire but counting all the portrait ghosts I mean, there's a lot that could go as the creepiest. You got Mr. Lugs that just is terrifying as he's angry spitting at you. Henry and Orville are scary kids as they play this game with you and that creepy music starts playing as they're going around the room. And Sue P 
once again, it's just like the kids in this game are very creepy are as well as she's just like sleeping in the bed and wakes up and just, yeah, kid ghosts are just not fun. They're, they are terrifying. In Luigi's Mansion 2, Dark Moon, we have the ice monster uh, where, yes, a lot of people just hate this boss altogether, but yeah, it is kind of creepy, this giant ice creature with teeth and creepy eyes. And then finally, we have Luigi's Mansion 3, Polter Kitty is definitely the scariest in my opinion, as it's just a normal little cat until it transforms and you have to face the other direction as it's creeping up behind you and at the very last second turn around, which does play with your heart a little bit. And that is the scariest boss in every single Mario game ever with a total of 57 different bosses. Thank you so much that watched this video all the way to the end. You're the reason why these videos continue to happen. And if you love this series and wanna see even more because I still have more plans for future videos, make sure you stop what you're doing right now. Leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Mario and Nintendo in general. And I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.